Hi everyone, Ben from Latitude Motorhomes here. Welcome to the latest Element 27 tour. So for those that don't know, the Element 27 is just over 27 feet long and around 8.6 meters. It's based on the Iveco 70C 210 truck with the 4750 wheelbase. From Iveco, we also get all the three option packs, which include things like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, tire pressure monitoring, the better seat package, GPS, lane departure warning, adaptive cruise, all those kind of things. And on top of that, we also get the airbag suspension in the rear, the higher output engine, the mechanical diff lock. So pretty much a loaded truck from them. And obviously we do our thing in the back. So through other videos, I go into the details on the vans, which I'll do in this one. But I'm also, also talk about the process of ordering from us and what you can expect when you do that. Alright. So we've got our side step standard. This, luckily for, for us in the video, this motorhome is pretty much in line with 2024 specifications as far as all the things go. So when the customer came in they just went straight to the 2024 specs, which were released mid last year. So we've got side step standard. Little courtesy light system there. Beautifully the way we've integrated the, the body in through here. And no weird seam lines or anything like that. Very nice, you've got your fuel filler here for the diesel. Then this storage locker here, we've actually got the generator fuel tank. So both nicely positioned next to each other there. Very simple when you're topping up. The generator fuel tank is around 35 litres. And the main fuel tank's around 100 litres. There is an option for a 210 litre diesel tank which you can add most customers find the hundreds plenty you can actually see the end of the side out actuator there and the manual override if you ever need to use that touch wood no one has had to yet we've got the double entry step that's electric you just push a button if you happen to drive off with it out it'll pack itself away the medic entry door this has got the separating screen on it so you've got the um the security screen for airflow, which is pretty easy to use. I'm doing it with one hand here. So my airflow and security there. And then we got the weather cover to go back on. Bit of background noise, guys. I hope that's all right. I'm trying not to talk while that's happening. So we won't go inside just yet. We'll do it on the outside, but you can see in the step here, the intake for the heater. We've recently upgraded to a four kilowatt heater as standard on these. You've got your umbrella holder so that your doors stay there as well. A little courtesy light system there with the blue light. Gas detector. Here we've got a sneak peek in there too before we go in. All right, now this is the lighter gray guys at the bottom. So there's two charcoal grays that you see quite a lot that people pick. And technically you could come in and ask for Lamborghini orange if you wanted to. And then we can obviously match the graphics in at the top. So the feature colour here is Apollo Blue. That's the feature colour. And then just the matching graphic to the paintwork there. We've got the outside storage drawer here. So all of these locks look like this. They're electronically locked. Just push the button on the key. And they've added the outdoor fridge. It's nice. This is a 35 litre to Medic CFX fridge. Or fridge freezer. You can set it to freeze as well if you want. So it's controlled from the red arc screen inside if you want to turn that off. Or you can simply take it out. Just there with the straps. If you need the storage. I like that little addition. So if you get an order with this and you want that, make sure you put it on your list of things to ask about. There we go there. You can see the 360 camera. Just down there. So there's four of those around the vehicle and they integrate into the computer system that's on board to give you that bird's eye view effect which makes parking and manoeuvring an absolute breeze. And the thing is very easy to get on site in the right position. You can see all the way around you from like a, essentially like a bird's eye view 360 effect. Outside TV, so this is standard, 24 inch. Still have the DVD play built in, I don't know how many people use that anymore but the DVD player built in and obviously that's linked up to your satellite system on the roof as well. 
and there's a storage area there for a barbecue. So barbecue not standard, but there's a few options that fit in there. We can do mounting systems and stuff for you as well. Something that we might not talked about previously with the keys on the vehicle. So unfortunately we can't keep everything the same, but what you'll find is every lock that looks the same will have the same key. So we go to effort to actually have a locksmith come in and match all of those for us. Got the nice sound steel covers. Now these, on this model I've Echo, we actually get these with the tyre pressure monitoring, so you don't have to check your tyre pressure so much, because it comes up on the dashboard with the pressure. Got your mud flaps there. If we go down low enough, we can probably see the legs underneath. Get leveling legs under there. And again, they're standard. See the nice big water tank there, 310 litres. Gas bottles. These are on a slide, so that trail will slide out there. Got two four kilo bottles. It's easy to use tie down straps and a manual changeover valve. Because we run a big solar system and a compressor fridge, we actually don't go through much gas in these. So, next we'll look in the battery compartment. So this has, like I said, they've gone straight to the 2024 specs. So they've got the 300 amp hour battery, the 2001 inverter, the Red Arc management system and digital switching, as well as the little SeaTech charger up the back there. And that's to maintain the truck battery when you plug it in. So particularly when it's in storage, it means that the Iveco battery itself is maintained and increases its life. So we've got out for this video. It's the carefree altitude electric. So we get that with the Bluetooth module and the wind sensor. So that allows you to actually put the warning in and out with an app on your phone. It means that if the wind picks up, it'll pack itself away. It also means you can adjust it through the phone app as well. One thing I love about this awning is the adjustable arms on the side. So you can adjust the angle of this awning and leave it where it is and then pack it up and put it back out and we'll come back out to the same spot. Definitely a good warning. On the roof you can see the satellite system and the wind guard antenna, so they're both standard. On the back you got your spare tire and the hard cover again all standard, color coded. Got the trimmer, instantaneous and continuous water system. Aluminium buffer bar, it's color coded, so this is nice and solid. It's actually separate from the body, so if you see there's like a seam here. What that means is if you do buff the back of it, it doesn't instantly damage the body, so it reduces the expense and complication of repairs. So tow bar standard, We've got skid bars on it as well. On the 70C, there's actually quite a good departure angle here, so you're unlikely to tap the back of it. They've added the little water tap here on the back. It's a nice little addition there. And you've got the tailpipe for the generator, just here. So that's basically as far away from the camp here as we can get it. Now in front of the slide out. So in this corner here we have all your service hookups. So we've got the town water uh, pressure point. So you plumb into this, you just hook your hose under there, plug it into the caravan park and you'll be using water directly from them rather than from your tank. You your tank filler, so just pop the hose in there and fill it up. Your breather for your toilet. So with the, um, this one's got the cassette toilet, which you'll see inside, and we fit the ventilation system and fan onto that. Power inlet, and then grey water underneath just here. You also see the generator there. Very easy to service and maintain. Lots of good airflow around it. More storage bins. And this is a good spot for hoses and bits and pieces, which you'll see here. That's what we've put in. So obviously it comes with all the hoses and power leads and everything you need. See the way we actually use the wiper seal on here as well. So there's a wiper and a bulb seal. And you've got the awning on the top. So the awning on top is automatic, it just retracts in and out with the slide out, it keeps leaves and debris off the roof, and also it shades the top too. So here's our slide out, it's around four and a half meters. And one thing that really sets our slide outs apart is the fact that these lower storage bins come out with the slide out. And just on the storage bins guys in the whole motorhome, we don't really have any load limits on any of these. In total motorhome, full of water and full of fuel, 
will weigh about 5.6 tonnes and the GVM of 7.2. So you've got about 1.6 tonnes of payload. That's after all the tanks and things are full. And it's really well distributed as well. Hence the reason why I've got the water tank and the generator and the batteries actually to the rear more. The other goes to favour that. Alright, let's see if it's all the storage. So we're under the bed. So under here, tons of storage. Nice and open. You can get a bit of a feel maybe in some areas for the way the cabinets interlock here too. So under here you've got 12 volt sockets, you've got a 240 volt power point. You've actually got enough height under here. I know this one's got the fridge and the outdoor storage area. But when we designed this, we made the height sufficient that even the very big um, Dometic CFX fridge freezers would fit under there. You can plug it in. So if you do find yourself going on that extended trip away from uh, built up areas, you can have some frozen meat or extra cold foods in there. The windows of the deluxe top spec window. So they're smooth on the outside. They're double glazed still, so they have the bubble, but it goes back inwards. They're tinted, and they've got the built-in blind and fly screen. And the fly screen's black. You can see a lot of people ask that. More storage under the lounge. So you'll see inside this one's got the L-shaped lounge, which is the most popular, and it gives you a bit more storage out here as well. And we've got see, now all the lower bins are actually made out of three mm aluminium, and because of the effort we go to with our 3D modelling and computer design that we do they're actually all laser cut nc laser cut and folded so very accurate it means our seals line up perfectly it means things fit really well and then they're tig welded so that means that they seal very well so they're very strong so three millimeters probably a bit overkill but it's better to over engineer things Fridge fans on the outside. This is just a little drain for the condensation for the fridge. Didn't see these wiper seals here. Side step. The little flap on this side so you add blue. They hold about 15 litres of add blue, which they seem to use less as they go on for anywhere from five to ten thousand Ks out of a tank of add blue. Alright, it's a good looking track. Well, this graphic design is what we refer to as let's call it the simple design or a little bit more modest you've probably seen in the other videos the bolder design edge bar standard you can see that front camera there it's part of that 360 system that helps you see around the vehicle very good looking truck all right Let's go inside. All right, so we're coming in the element 27 now. So the basics of the colors here, we've got slate gray gloss for what we call a feature color. This is the grays here and here, and on the back wall. And then we've got the Arctic white for the cabinet kind of door colours and stuff like that. So when you look around, if you're picking colours, that's the kind of breakup that you do. You'll see somewhere they just pick all the one colour. There's a champagne that seems to be popular for that. So if you want more of a champagne colour, there's, there's so many to choose from. So if you are using, if you do like what you see here, just take some screenshots of the video platinum splash back and bring it in with you when you do your colors so that you can we can look it up and make sure we've got the same color scheme the leather on this one's a bit of a different choice so i don't know if you can see it in the video it's got a slight navy blue tinge to it compared to the normal gun barrel gun barrel seems to be the most popular one but they just wanted a bit of a bit of a slight difference to it this is the standard stitch pattern the leather you'll also see the diamond stitching which i'm a big fan of so front you've got the seats turned around okay so while we're just walking around we i'll go through some of the process 
of ordering a motorhome with us. So we do have a long waiting time. We're not a company that tries to build 100 motorhomes a year. We build 15 to 20. So it makes the product a little bit harder to get. So currently guys, we're booked out to mid 2027. So if you do want to order something, we have a small holding deposit. And we release pricing for 2027 in about mid 2025. And specs and things, anything new that comes out, we generally add. If there's anything new and improved with the trucks, we'll have that in the specs as well. And obviously you hear me talking about people picking colors and stuff. So a lot of people that are on that list will watch all these videos and they'll use it for inspiration. And obviously also know that their motorhome is one step closer by us finishing this one. All right, let's start at the front. So like I said before, the Iveco is the top of the range daily. It's the 72C210. So it's got the 210 horsepower engine, eight speed auto, 7.2 ton GVM. Essentially all the fruit. So the, all, the, all the things that we'd want in a motorhome spec truck, it has. Then got the nice big 10 inch monitor there for the 360 camera system. The leveling legs, this has an app for your phone as well so you can control it from your phone. Otherwise it's power on auto level and it does its thing. Really nice seats. Now so when you come and actually see it, you'll touch and feel these things and realize that it's real leather. I know a lot of companies use Let's call it faux leather, ultra leather, whatever product they want to call it nowadays. And there's probably 20 colors for you to choose from. So plenty to choose. Same thing with the cabinets and bench tops. So every motorhome will be a little bit personalized. Even the lining and all the cupboards and stuff is beautiful. So this is insulated through here, guys. It's got that padded vinyl effect on there. This is all the same leather as what you pick for your seats. That's so actually genuine leather all through here and all through here. You've got your little reading lamps around. They've got a night light and then a, a full light if I hold the button down. Plenty of feature lighting. You can see all this stuff along the floor, the bed. So it's just enough to not be tacky but give a really nice effect. All right, so we call this the pantry. Plenty of cupboard space in here. Got your power point back there and the hole to access for what we refer to as the appliance cupboard. So in here, we'll often see coffee makers, thermomixers, toasters, kettles, all kinds of stuff. And they'll just be sitting there ready to use. Lots of drawer space. And top of the range, Blum Legra Box drawer sets. So beautiful, no runners visible on the side. Maximizes the space that's in there. Very elegant looking, very well finished. And we have our solid stainless steel locks. So these are a European lock designed for high end yachts. We get those in just for us. One of these little plastic clips or, you know, buttons, magnets, anything like that. Get the dual handles as you come in. Nice big sink set up, chopping board, drainer box. It has the additional little fitting here for uh, filtered water. That's over overhead cupboard space. You'll see non-slip matting in there. That's all seen, all nice, positive latched. As far as locking goes, as long as the door's closed, it's locked. There's no buttons you gotta push or remember. As long as it's closed, it's locked. Everything's soft open, soft close. Nice, the way the range is built in, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Additional lighting under the cupboard, which during the daytime obviously you don't really need it, but it's nice to have that and see what we do there. The stove combo. So this you can get with three gas burners or like this one, one electric and two gas. And then it's got the gas oven and gas griller here as well. And the microwave over this side. So this works well, you can sit on the bed, move stuff in and out. All cover space. Great big drawers down low. They're really, really big. They're over half a metre deep and about 1.2 metres wide. So very, very big drawers. There's a series of dividers and stuff you can get in here and different attachments that come from Blum in 
their range and you see we actually provide I look in this top one we provide you with the covering for uh, the foil and cling wrap dispenser as well as the fitted cutlery tray and it's been hard to explain this has got like a non-slip kind of finish to it in here <laughs> fridge so it's a compressor fridge 12 volt some people will refer to this as a two-way in, in certain caravan applications you would wire it up to run on 240 and 12 volt but in this application it's wired up to run on 12 volt so with the 720 watts of solar on the roof and the 300 amp hour battery it easily covers this and more when people run their you know inverters and on their tvs and charge things and stuff and they pretty much don't have to worry about their power system there are things you can do to upgrade it further if you'd like but the standard system is pretty substantial again a nice big drawer for the lounge I feel like that's a good spot for shoes in there nice solid table yeah we do get asked this does go up and down and you can rotate it too see how the center is offset there means that when you rotate it, it brings it away from the, um, from the lounge, so it creates like a coffee table effect. Right, the TV. So the TV is on a pull-out bracket. It's a 32-inch smart TV from Samsung. We've got the shelving above it. So this has got the fast box up there. You'll often see different accessories that people add up there. And there's spare power points in behind the, the TV as well. So if you've got anything you want to plug in, it's good to go and quite often there's multiple different electronic devices people have there so it's a good spot for it you've got power you've got 12 volt and 240 so they've added these little sirocco fans around so if you do like the look of those make sure that's on your list nice drawer space beside each bed there's a, a dual usb and 240 volt outlet so we run these usbs rather than the ones built in for two reasons one, they run on 12 volt, so you don't need the inverter on. And two, we can use the top of the range uh, Clipsal uh, power points. So you've got a second red arc screen down next to your bed. So from here, you can turn the lights and things on and off. Look at your battery level, look at your water levels, see how much solar's coming in and whatnot. Overhead cupboard space, again, all the soft clothes, top of the range Blum gear. So all the, the way that cabinetry hardware fits, it's all interference fit as well. So we're not relying on a couple of screws. We actually have like expanding fittings and locking fittings and interference fittings. So under the bed storage, you can see I'm lifting the one hand. Very easy. Lots of storage. You've got in this bag here, you've got the solar screens for the front cab. So they're the tailor fitted window coverings for the windscreen and the side cab windows. You got your Fusion Audio. This is the top of the range Apollo unit. Outdoor speakers. Outdoor speakers are standard in the 2024 spec. So you can put hanging rails. Lots of cupboard space here. That's good. And again, everything's solid with locking. Very easy to use. Nice big drawers. Just three of those all the way down in the bathroom so like I said this one's got the um, cassette toilet with the ventilation system on it I actually integrate that into the wall a bit nicer too so it's nicer looking got your two tower rails see the there. double power point hot water service control extra light switch for the bathroom top load washing machine in here that can run off your inverter off your water tank Nice big sink, more drawer space. You'll notice we use drawers a lot. We like drawers, they're much easier to work. You always want. And there's an example down here of serviceability. So we do make all the different parts and appliances very easy to access in the event in the future that you may have some issues with any appliances. So that's your hot water system there. It's got a cutoff valve. So if you do need to turn the water supply off, do it and the power point down there for it as well. So all very simple, easy to understand. You've got a heater duct there. There was one in the front that we didn't see as well. Right, shower. 
So this is the travel lock. So I'll just pull that across and the door will stay locked when you're driving. It does come across here to give you privacy too. So if you do want to lock off the bathroom, you've got privacy that way. So it might be a little bit hard to kind of see and explain, but this shower is really, really big. It's very big. You've got the molded seat in the corner. So you rest your foot up there or sit down. But it, this, is, this is a big shower. Give you some idea, it's around 1100 by 1100 or 110 centimeters by 110 centimeters. Very big shower, you got the black clothesline at the top, soap dispenser, and the massage shower head, and rows and stuff there. It's a good mixer. Alright, so I think that's just about enough of a run through. Just do a little walk around again, just to get a feel for it. So like I said guys, if you are thinking about ordering with us, you really need to be planning ahead because of the wait times. It's definitely a desirable product. And we've got this one. Make sure you check out the YouTube channel for our other models. We've got a larger motorhome than this called the Meridian 30, which is like this, but more. And then we've got the Cobalt 26 which is very similar, but smaller and without a slide out. And then we've got our titanium sprinter van, which going forward will be standard on the new all wheel drive platform from Mercedes. So there's some supply issues with Mercedes at the moment, which is making it a bit hard for us to predict supply on those. But thankfully our Veco are all sorted with us now. And we're full steam ahead for 2023. Ask any questions in the comments. Reach out. You can even do it the old fashioned way and pick up the phone, messenger, email, check out the website. Make sure you follow us on all the socials. All right, guys. Thanks for watching the video. And if you got one on order, this means that yours is another one closer. Thank you, have a great day.